Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? I've got my long underwear sitting on the table here to block the sun. It was making a weird shadow for the camera. But uh, in a precautionary measure to possibly, you know, in the event of a travel lockdown, I relocated from Lake Havasu. I didn't want to be stuck in Lake Havasu because the temperatures get to be 120 or higher in the summer. So I decided to head up to higher elevations and with that comes colder temperatures and muddy clay and precipitation and I'm experiencing all of it. I got up to the spot that I was headed to and promptly got stuck almost down to the axle. And I'm actually kind of proud of my rig that it was able to spin tires. I didn't think it had that much torque. So I've got to get it unstuck. I did a little digging, uh, and I've got to do a heck of a lot more digging. That's what my day's going to be comprised of today. Savannah is over here in the bed, <laughs> and I'm letting her sleep in the bed. I usually don't because she brings in dirt off of her inside of her paws and in her nails and everything in it, and I don't like the dirty uh, sheets, but she's getting away with it right now. <laughs> she's wagging, wagging her tail at me. I let her out yesterday to pee and she got out and it snowed yesterday <laughs> she's sitting up i'll sit back and show you uh she's not doing it now she was sitting up i let her out to to go to the bathroom and she wanted nothing to do with it so she took a quick pee and came back inside now she's doing it of course since i'm back uh so she's got some pooping to do so she, we better get some pooping going today savannah uh, one day holding it's okay but you know i don't want her to get backed up so she, uh, I'll be out digging. Hopefully she'll come out there with me and, and uh, the Moodle uh, striker. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well, uh, you know, dusting off that old guitar maybe or, or you know, just making good use of your time, whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, I'm just going to work on getting unstuck. And uh, right now the trailer's still hitched up to the bus. I thought about detaching the trailer getting unstuck and then back and back around from a different angle and hooking back up to the trailer. But if I got stuck a second time uh, with the trailer hooked up, it would just break my heart. So I might just go for broke. I've got a shovel and I can uh, rake up gravel around me and make a nice gravel pad to drive out of. And so that's uh, my plan. I'm burning through a ton of propane because my bus really isn't set up for uh, four seasons. I, I never intended it to be a four season rig. I've put a lot of towels and reflectix and I've got drapes already. I've got a moving blanket that, that uh, kind of sequesters off half the rig uh, for the furnace, but I still, I still go through propane pretty fast. So I'm going to look at some options on that. I may get maybe a 250 watt electric heater since I have over a kilowatt of power and see how that goes. Mm, I can truck in and truck out on the dirt bike. It's legally plated, so I can rig it up. I've rigged it up to carry seven gallons of, uh, you know, water jugs before. I could probably rig it up to carry a propane tank if I put my mind to it and got creative. So I can get in and get out and get supplies. I hope that uh, you're in a similar situation where maybe things are a little different, but you're still making the most of it. Uh, I looked at a wench uh, on Harbor Freight's uh, website for 800 bucks, and I figure by the time I get the grade 8 hardware and get everything all situated with that thing mounted, you know, it would be something a little over my pay grade right now. So I'm, I'm taking a pass on the winch at the moment and just going to get my butt out there and dig. So that's what I got going. I'll grab the camera. I'm not uh, fully dressed. This is long underwear weather, so I'm going to get uh, prepared, and then I'll show you the the situation with the bus and uh and i freely welcome the peanut gallery to jump in in the comments and tell me yeah you should do it like this you should do it like that because i know that's going to come there's probably five or six different ways to skin this cat so feel free to to uh let me have it all right let's uh get dressing and i'll show you the the back tires what a beautiful day Savannah, go potty. Go potty. Let's 
see where I started to try to get a little lift on the uh, rig. It, it comes in just under 20,000 pounds, and that's a 20-ton jack. The, the little one's not, and it's old, so this is the last time that little one's going to get used. It, uh, <laughs> I would jack up the big one and then set up the other one uh, to... Uh, be able to reset my jacks uh, the, the big one and set it up a little bit higher the little one would go oh what are you doing to me and it would start leaking uh hydraulic fluid out of the bottom of it it's an old it's an old jack anyway and so the seals on it are probably bad to begin with and it's like hey man come on I, I'm, I'm back from the sears and roebuck days what are you doing to me anyway here's here's this it doesn't look that bad Yeah, I've got a little bit of gravel in there. You can see where I dug uh, dug down. I was trying to jack it up right there. That wasn't the best course of action. It wasn't working for me. I just kept pushing big blocks of wood down into the mud. There's a bunch of big blocks of wood that you don't see because they're embedded in the mud. It, it, looks, it looks dry. I thought the snow was going to make it really muddy. Man, this might be my chance with it kind of frozen. I'll show you the other side. I'm going to dig out the front tires you know there's no shortage to the digging i can do so i might as well put as many things in my favor as i can i'm gonna dig out the front tires this i guess looks a little bit worse because i didn't dig out around the tire yet and see where i've got some gravel and i can i can rake all this dirt this gravel up i'll just find some places where it's a little more clustered and rake all of it up and throw it in there and maybe even dig out a little bit in front of these tires. They don't actually look very bad. But uh, I don't know if I've shown you this yet. I've got a video series that I'm working on. This is saving my my butt big time because last yesterday when it snowed, the snow didn't uh, collect on the side panel. Therefore, I can run my the blower on my furnace. But I am going to look into it on a little electric heater to save on propane because I just churn through the propane out here even with all my best efforts to insulate uh, with that I'm gonna go I'm gonna upload this and get some breakfast in me try to get a good meal in me and get a day of digging ahead I'll keep you posted hope you're well see ya